What's up everybody, this is Dallas Stone here and today I just wanted to do a quick Marmoset Toolbag 3 tutorial uh, on adding an animated camera to your scene. So here you see uh, I've put in a custom, my own custom mesh, this is my, my pistol that I had created and um, first thing you have to do is you want to add in a new camera and I'm going to show you two ways on how to do this quickly. So first thing you have your camera in here and then um, you want to open up your timeline and your keyframe uh, it's gonna be at the very bottom of your screen here I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the quick way on how to add a, a camera uh, so this is timeline what you're gonna want is you want to turn on your automatic keyframes uh, for this first part and um, what you want to do is I'm just gonna wiggle the camera just a little bit there and it's going to make this it might be hard to see, it'll, it'll make like a little line here. Uh, that's probably one feedback I would, would like to give Mar Marmoset. It's just to kind of make that a obvious color, like in my, it's red. When you have a keyframe in there, just so that it's easier to see. Um, I'm going to go now to 5 seconds. Oh yeah, uh, this is 300 frames, so you can set all your frames and stuff like that here. Uh, your frames per second here, um, stuff like that. So I'm going to go to my 5 seconds now. I'm going to move my camera, let's say you're looking right into the barrel right and then for the last uh, 10 seconds I'm gonna have it go all the way up like this so now if I press the play you're gonna have um, it going around in a circle here and then it's gonna go all the way up just like that okay so that's one way to do it uh, so I'm just going to so I'm gonna close up timeline go up here I'm gonna nuke all the frames now here's another way that you can add keyframes and this is a little bit more um, detailed more uh, more things that you can do like you can change depth of field your post effects when it pops in when it pops out um, so again very similar thing what you want to do here um, you can have your timeline uh, open as well to kind of help guide you uh, so for here I'm just going to put uh, a custom keyframe so I'm just gonna put a keyframe uh, so, so yes, first you have to actually select your camera here and then go to transforms, for example, and then, then I'm going to select my keyframe and then I'm going to go to maybe five seconds here. Again, I'm going to go look into the barrel and there's lots of little cool options like how you want to fall, all the fall offs, different types of fall offs and how smooth you want to go from one transition to another. Um, I'm going to turn off this auto keyframe thing because right now it looks like it was it was auto keyframing. So let me just delete these. Um, go here, go to the five seconds, put in on my own custom keyframe here. Um, oops, sorry. Delete these. Look into the barrel. Add my own custom keyframe. Go all the way to the end. And this time, maybe I'll look at the bottom. Make it here. So now if I just play this, you're going to see that it's going to do that manually. And again, you can set all the different types of uh, cool little options um, uh, for depth of field and all that stuff as well. Uh, so once you're happy with your camera, you want to go to your capture. Uh, you want to go to video which or F5 for the, for the shortcut. Select your resolution, the sampling, uh, what kind of format you'd like, the quality that you'd like, and then you just press export, where you want it exported. Um, and then I also have uh, a already rendered out uh, video here just to kind of show you uh, what you will um, end up getting. So yeah, if you guys like that video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. And um, if you like what you see in the channel, subscribe, follow me on... Uh, Twitter and uh, follow me on Twitch. All right. Thank you so much.